Okay, so let's start talking about the tongue. So our sense of taste is called gustation. So if I showed you a picture like this and I said identify the sense, you would tell me gustation because you would use your tongue and the taste buds within the tongue to taste the drink or the food that you're eating. Okay, your tongue has some extensions on it. Um, these extensions are called papillae and you have several different types. Okay, so you'll see here in this drawing, you have your circumvallate papillae and they're around the base of the tongue. So let me get my little marker here. So your circumvallate papillae, they're gonna be back here towards the base of the tongue. Then your fungiform fillet, they're gonna be in the main body of the tongue. So right here and right here, you would have a lot of fungiform papillae. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then towards the midline of the tongue, right here and right here, you would have filiform papillae. And we're gonna talk about each kinds of papillae here in just a sec. So let's erase this. And we will go down to the next picture. So the next picture is a picture of the model that we have in class. And so I'm gonna show you on this, on this picture and then we'll go to the model here in just a second. So let's use our pen again and we will mark each one of these. So right here, number one is gonna be your circumvallate papillae. Number two right here, the spiky papillae. These are your filiform. And then these right here are gonna be your fungiform. <clears throat> so in the circumvallate, number one, circum, like the circumference of a circle goes around and round. So the first part of that term means going in a circle. So circumvallate, Papillae are gonna be the ones that are there in number one, the circular topped papillae. Number two, filiform. These are gonna form long spiky filaments. And then three, fungiform papillae. These are gonna be very rounded. If you'll think about mushrooms, mushrooms are a fungus and they have that very rounded top and that's what you're seeing in the fungiform papillae. So let's erase this and then we will go right into looking at our model. Okay, let's stop sharing. Okay, so now we're looking at our model here. So this would be the tongue. So this organ or gland would be tongue. This sense would be gustation. Right here, you're seeing your circumvallate papillae. Then around the outsides of the tongue right here and here, you're gonna see your fungiform papillae. And then right on either side of this midline, around here and here, you're gonna see your filiform papillae. So now let's look at those papillae on here. So again, your circumvallate, circum, like you're going a circumference or going around a circle. So these would be your circumvallate papillae. This you're looking from the side, this you're looking from the top, circumvallate papillae. We're gonna skip these right here and go to this one. If you'll see from this one, these look like tall spikes. These are gonna be your filiform papillae. So that's what it looks like from the top. That's what it looks like down from the side. Then here, these are gonna be your fungiform papillae. From the side, you'll see that they look like little mushroom tops. Remember, mushrooms are funguses. So you have the fun, uh, fungiform papillae here. So the rounded one, circumvallate papillae. The spiky one, filiform papillae. And the mushroom tops are your fungiform papillae. Now, as we go through these um, sulcuses or these depressions in these papillae, you'll see that they're lined by these little white dots. These little white dots are your taste buds. So you'll see your circumvallate papillae have taste buds and your fungiform papillae have taste buds. You're seeing them there, but your filiform does not have taste buds. 
okay? So again, your circumvallate has taste buds and your fungiform has taste buds, but your filiform right here does not have taste buds, okay? And the taste buds are these little white dots that are going down in the uh, depressed areas of these papillae, okay? So now let's look at what the taste bud actually looks like. Okay, so here we're looking, <clears throat> excuse me, at a taste bud microscopically. And when you're looking at this microscopically, you will see these little circular figures. Oops, sorry about that, my pen didn't wanna work. Well, I'm trying to get my pen to work, guys, hang on. Okay, so for some reason my pen's not working, but this would be a taste bud here. You'll see one taste bud here. You'll see another taste bud here. Each one of these circular structures, here's one here, here's another one here, is a taste bud. And they're located in the sucked in, or the sulci almost, of uh, the papillae. So where those papillae form grooves on, between papillae, that's where your taste buds will be located. So you need to be able to recognize a taste bud microscopically. And I'll have another video on the um, histology from the nervous system a little bit later. And then you need to be able to identify the parts of the taste bud in this little cartoon picture. So here you're seeing that I don't know why I cannot get my pen working here. Okay, so anyway, right where the surface of the tongue is gonna be here, you'll have little holes where these taste hairs are gonna come out of. Taste hairs are almost like uh, cilia on the end of a um, taste bud. Where these taste hairs come out of, these are gonna be taste pores. So the holes would be taste pores and the microvilli will be the taste hairs. The yellow cells here that do not attach to any taste hairs, these are gonna be your supporting cells. And then the pink cells that have the taste hairs at the end are gonna be your gustatory cells. These are gonna be the ones that will hook into the nerves, which will take information from the tongue taste information, sensory information from the tongue to the brain, okay? So that gustatory cell has the taste hairs on one end and they're hooked to nerves on the other end. And then you have these little bitty cells here at the end. These are your basal cells. These are gonna be um, like your stem cells for your gustatory cells, okay? So these little, four little ones back here are going to be your basal cells. So again, the basal cells, the yellow cells, each of these yellow cells, these long yellow cells are called your supporting cells. And each of these long pink cells here are called your gustatory cell. And at the end of them, you'll see the taste hairs, which are your microvilli, coming through these holes called your taste pores. Make sure you can label this picture and make sure you can identify the taste buds. And like I said, we will go over the histology for the nervous system and the special senses in another video.